How do you handle the objections about money? This is easy. How do you handle objections about money? Ooh, I'll start. Okay. Okay. You know, when people are sharing objections about money, normally they think it it's an added cost that we're asking them to do. And a lot of times we're not. We're saying take a look at what you're already purchasing and replace it with a healthier product, something that is helping your family, and you can benefit off of it that way. So it's redirectional spending. I said, you go through the Chick-fil-A drive-thru every morning. He goes, yeah. I said, how much does that cost you? He goes, five to seven bucks, like it was no big deal. He had no idea where I was going with it. So I looked at him, I was like, all right, let's tally this up, buddy. Pulled out my pen. I was like, time's 30 days. And he was like, whoa, I spent a lot of money on breakfast. And he was, he was overweight. And I knew why he was invited to USANA was to help himself get healthy. So I asked him what he did for lunch. I asked him some of the basic household necessities, the things that he needed as a single guy, a bachelor living in an apartment. By the time I was done with this whole presentation, I looked at him and I said, do you see now how allocating out of your budget of over $500 a month of things that you currently already spend money on, it's not that I want you to go take more money and create a new budget in your life. Take money out of the budget of things that you already are spending money on, that product that, that, that you saw in a manufacturers like these products, similar products. And he looked at me, he was like, this makes total sense. He's like, this is easy. So if your individuals that you're talking with say it's too expensive or they, they think that uh, they don't need it or perhaps it's, it's just too much money, what you've got to do is you've got to raise the value of what it is that you're offering to where no longer do they see it as too much. We're willing to spend money on the things that we value. And usually if you talk to somebody, you'll find that there's something in their life that they really value. It might be cars, it might be um, like microbrewery, special fancy pants beers, it might be um, clothing, whatever it is. Find out what that thing is that they will pay a little extra for and then align to tell them that USANA is like the Rolls Royce of vitamins or USANA is like the Chanel you know, of vitamins or whatever it is. So you can make that association and that analogy with what they value. I try to give them as much literature or videos, anything I can to back up what USANA is about and how we make our products compared to others. Once I do that, the money subject can move over to the side a little bit. But if it is something that could be an issue, I'll start with uh, maybe the essentials and then I get them accustomed to move them up to a health pack or to a My Health pack. One of the tools that we always bring to a presentation is the average earning chart. So we love to bring that out at that point and say, let's just look at this and this is the average earnings for people at these different levels. And this isn't a get rich quick scheme. This is, uh, you're building a residual income business. What income level right there would help you out of those financial problems you're having, mm -hmm. whether it's replacing your income mm -hmm. or paying these bills. And they'll normally pick to one spot. It gives them hope, it gives them something to shoot for. Well, that's how fast you want to get there, because this is a team. We're willing to put in the effort to help you if you want to put the effort to help yourself. But seeing a number and seeing how it would translate mm -hmm. into, if I build a business, that's what I could get. Seems to really get some light bulbs going on for them and helps them.